Hey what's up everyone this is Wicked Android HD and from the beginning you'll see some major difference that's been done with my Galaxy S4 and I gotta assure you this is the new Flime OS ROM for the Galaxy S4 GTI 9505 as you may see here so Flime OS which stands for Operating System 4.5.4.1 R R I don't know what R stands for maybe release candidate maybe something related to a port or I don't don't uh, even know now from the first sight of this ROM you will notice that it's kind of hell of a lot different from Tatris from any other ASP ROM CM ROMs you've been uh, flashing for the latest in the latest period of time um, this is based on a new user interface um, as you may see it's really themed and I will show you in a couple of minutes what I mean by that it's uh, really close to MIUI if you know what I mean uh, if you don't please make sure you click the card uh, right down below the screen MIUI it's uh, a Chinese software based on Android uh, Chinese operating system based on Android actually I mean it's a new interface which is based on Android even though this this um, although um, this Flame OS Pro ROM is based on Android 5.1.1, so Lollipop, which is great because you will see and you'll notice how fast it is and how smooth it is. And of course, before proceeding to the re reviewing part of this ROM, I will uh, need to uh, tell my viewers what, uh, how do I make my reviews. Uh, I will talk about. Uh, the performance, the design, the smoothness and the stability and of course the uh, battery life so you may see the battery life is 77% right now at the beginning of the video we'll check uh, it out at the at the end of the video in order to make you an idea of how fast the battery drains out okay so without further ado let's get into into this ROM uh, I'll open some apps because we're gonna be talking about the design part I'll open some apps in order to tell you how I feel when I'm using this ROM this is a very kind of new styled ROM because it offers you a minimalistic um, minimalistic experience with um, themed icons, themed new icons themed new material design and I'll get uh, into this uh, right now so for example we'll open the phone application as you may see there is this beautiful animation when you click really beautiful animation of course when you lock the device again as you may see really beautiful f popping in animation um, so let's open the phone app and let's dial number for example 415 default one in Romania and as you may see these are actually moving right now these things these I uh, don't know if you managed to to notice that but this is how the the uh, dialing uh, I, uh, dialing window looks like um, this is how the messaging app looks like as you may see uh, really styled and I like the way s uh, the scrolling uh, feels it feels smooth smooth because it doesn't have that over scroll effect you will notice on many Android phones right now you know that white bar when you scroll down and get to the end of the list it doesn't it has the iPhone iPhone ish um, uh, you know bouncing style scrolling um, let's get into another app calendar for example as you may see it looks again minimalistic and really simple can select the date really simple um, clock again beautifully styled be crisp Beijing um, again this is a ROM as the me as me why because it's based it's made by Chinese I think I'm, I, I'm sorry if I'm wrong but uh, I, I noticed some um, untranslated things I should say like that from Chinese to English for example um, and yeah I think that's uh, since it has anything about Beijing as default I mean Beijing is China so it uh, should be done by Ch it should be developed by Chinese people uh, either way let's get in the music app and show you how it looks like as you may see 
you can get here all the music uh, of course this is the weather widget um, so I let's check out the camera which is a very you know, simple app which allows you to easily select and switch back and forth between scan, panorama, manual mode and auto, auto mode you can switch back and forth uh, between the front camera and you know this is a really, this is a go, this is a go okay now because we're talking about the design and I was showing you how apps looks like look like um, I will tell you about the theming theming support of this ROM uh, okay themes app um, I tried to download a, a theme earlier but uh, because of the fact that this ROM is based in Asia is developed in Asia I couldn't find a really a good uh, downloading speed I tried to download this let's try again and maybe at the end of the video I'll show you uh, how, how customizable it is you may see it says zero, 0 kilobyte per second yeah it's pretty pretty nasty because I'm connecting to Wi-Fi network right now so it shouldn't be it shouldn't take that long so this is a this is not a great part of having a Chinese ROM uh, I do respect Chinese people I do respect uh, uh, all the work they they do because this they have done a great job with MIUI and this ROM and I think uh, there were others like UnOS or UnOS was yeah I think UnOS was also made by was an interface made by Chinese people okay so this is how the the settings app looks like as you may see the design part is at its best in this ROM because you'll find the first settings in the first category in the settings will be personalization so you have flame style icons you have themes uh, that I will try to download and let's hope we'll get the downloading part we have online wallpaper system wallpapers you can switch back and forth between them really nice wallpapers gallery wallpapers and live wallpapers these are the ones that you want that you will install you have also my flame or flame or how do I pronounce it account which allows you to synchronize all the data to a special account have network modes which work perfectly you can switch back and forth between 2G, 3G and 4G NFC is totally working tried earlier uh, so this is the wireless networking um, Bluetooth uh, sounds have different tons and tons of uh, phone ringtones and so on display you can adjust the brightness if you if you dare to dynamic blurring yes I think this will this will ben it, this will actually enhance the user interface perspective uh, battery percentage you may see 74 percent has been already three percent gone um, screen password this is very important if you want to know you can only set up a pin a four to six digit passcode or use a complex pass password what the heck is this yeah you can set up uh, a so say one 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 and again one 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 and if we go into the lock screen you wouldn't get again that uh, sliding screen you'll get this instead which really looks cool if you ask me come on it looks great I mean these rounded icons give you best look you will ever find okay so one 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 in order to unlock it really fast really smooth I don't got any problems with it haven't tested the GPS though make uh, make sure you report you write down the comments if you tried it uh, again we have tons of apps here so everything is working as it should be developer, developer options enabled by default smart touch this is a feature that um, will allow you to you know this I don't know if you can see it but there is an there is a an, uh, little dot right here so if I scroll it, if I you know, drag it down it will get to me the notification bar if I drag it up I think it will get back into the home screen yep if I slide if I slide the uh, left then um, it will get me into the previous app 
As you may see the camera was the previous app before I opened the settings, as you may saw. As you may see, the right, I don't think it's it's a uh, bind it by the way but this looks really cool and helps uh, helps up a lot of people uh, who want to open up an, an app for example fast so a smart touch is also available here in google sections you can customize them by you know sliding along pressing and then you know disable it the brightness we talked about that um so yeah the design parts if I get the themes working, I will get it 10 out of 10 with my deeply. Oh, what? What? Is it to download yet? My deeply congratulations for the work they've done. Come on, connect it. Yeah, that is a major problem when, as I told you, when running a custom. ROM made in China because you'll get shit connection between their servers and your server. Come on, loading. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Upgrade, you have over the year upgrade as you may see checking version information. It should be should be updated. I think my Wi Fi is going down or what? Should be working. I don't know what. Either way. Let's get into other apps, for example, calculator, really styled application you have, I think. This is the way to calculate exchange rate, tools, oh, oh, Jesus Christ, now I noticed it has multi-window, how sweet is that, multi-window, guys, I didn't know it could... It it is possible you can lock an app what so multi window it has multi window for specific apps i think memos yes you it will ask you for permissions as you may see we have chinese chinese characters right here so yeah painter i don't know what this is oh you can create a paint by yourself Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, this is a competitor for Notes, Galaxy Notes uh, app regarding to the painting, to the painting side, nope, I don't know, yeah, I'm a genius, all of these are pieces of art, yeah, which means see this, this lion, really cool, okay, sound recorder, again, really themed and looks pretty damn well, even though I don't think these bars are actually working in a way. Um, download, come on, teams still aren't working. Network loading, so we have some problems. I think maybe my Wi Fi is has something to do, no, has something to do with it. Come on, please be kind. Eight. 0, 0 0.0 again. I tried to download it, but it didn't work. Maybe you have better luck with this. Now, some tips about uh, this ROM. As you may see, clock is integrated into settings, and it won't it won't appear on the lock screen. This is um, a really nice touch, in my opinion. Because you don't need uh, any kind of another widget along with the clock in the status bar because you'll take a look only once at one of them, either widget or the status bar, but having one of them is best. Teams install. Nope. Oh, come on. Seriously. Well, to be honest, right now, let's let's admit it, it deserves a 10 out of 10 for design part. Now, it's my problem that I couldn't download the team, but I uh, I think you guys or any other user will be able to, to download it. And, uh, you know, theme, 
timid even more. So 10 out of 10 for this uh, little uh, new interface uh, overhauled on Android. Uh, the performance part you saw everything is working smoothly no lag at all you can open you can switch up back and forth in the apps without a single problem calculator again uh, yeah, it's fast it's fast haven't installed any app though on uh, on this ROM but uh, I have really great confidence that it's um, I'm really confident that it's gonna rock rock the party 72% as we see Play Store, I haven't, I have installed it. One thing to be mentioned, uh, how to install this ROM. Firstly, you'll need to flash up the zip, then boot up the device and configure it for the first time, then reboot in reco recovery and uh, flash the gaps, then you'll have uh, Play Store. That's the instruction that I followed from uh, XDA and worked perfectly without any kind of force close. Now let's show you, let me show you how beautiful the blurring works uh, when I access the rebooting menu, so long press, take a look at this, how beautiful and how minimalistic this looks like. Come on man, admit it. I think it's the best looking, uh, the best looking uh, interface I've ever seen on Android and I have to admit it, it it's really beautiful. Yeah. Outstanding, outstanding quality, outstanding graphics, outstanding theming support and uh, outstanding uh, developers because everything is working as smoothly as uh, it would be on Marshmallow for example even though it's Lollipop I couldn't find any kind of lag I showed you everything you need to know about this so performance goes let's say 9 out of 10 because it isn't based on Marshmallow which is the latest Android so 9 out of 10 uh, smoothness goes 10 out of 10. Now, is it this is this ROM suitable for daily usage? If you ask me, not really, because and I'll give you my reasons. Um, the Wi-Fi isn't working great on Chinese servers, which is a big minus. Um, and this is kind of an iPhone-ish uh, looking OS. Let's admit it. It it moves and it uh, behaves really fast but I don't like this kind of experience I wouldn't personally I wouldn't like it maybe you would maybe you want a simple user interface but I don't like you know my home screen if you watch my previous video on Omega ROM and you know I have tons of shortcuts on my only on my uh, first screen you know my main screen I couldn't live uh, with just you know 12, 12 icons here which are you know this is more like an iPhone style with with widgets. So personally, I wouldn't uh, like it to be my daily driver. Uh, although, if you want, if you really like this, you may test it, you may use it, and you may report right down in the comments how 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 great it is. Um, so stability nine out of ten for me. So everything, so battery life 71%, uh, uncalibrated, uh, so 6% was consumed during 20 minutes, which is hmm, not bad, but not the best. My battery is getting even worse uh, after two years of uh, you know charging, discharging, charging, discharging, this kind of uh, cycle. So yeah, that was kind of it. Uh, I hope you like it. If you did, please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. I'll pull link in the description with the XDA thread in order to get the gaps and this beautiful ROM in order to flash your device. So this was Wicked Android HD. Thank you for watching, guys, and thank you for more than 3,000 subscribers. It keeps me motivated in doing this kind of stuff and helps me and makes me laugh. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wicked Android is out. Bye-bye.